Hello and welcome everybody to Destiny's Alpha Test. Well, let's see. First, what's out I'll be there. starting off with doing a free roam challenge, and then continuing that further to navigating around the area. First, I'm gonna get the spin mental. The spin mentals are used to later on approve your stats, if not even upgrades for your character. Right here I am shooting at a couple of the different type of enemies in this game so far. Summoning a vehicle, which this vehicle is very, very useful later on in multiplayer and also single player, free roam, story mode, cooperative gameplay. The punch is a weapon or a something you would use as a titan. The titan uses a strong punch with a uh, a deliberatarian oh my god um, we have long shock range scans of thing. an anomaly in this location <laughs> the future all right so right there i just got a mission using the green beacon when i activate the green beacon it activates a mission for me to do this is free roam by the way and whenever you do this you can then do the mission right here i'm activating a sniper rifle for my secondary or my special and i believe a scout rifle or if not an automatic and that right there is special ammo. You use that, to, of course, for your special ammo, for your special weapons. And here I'm going to the main. It's actually not considered the main mission. It's a submission. It's just what you do, just for fun. If you finished kind of like the main story and stuff, you can just go back and be like, oh, okay, I want to play the submissions. And this is considered a, like, just a. This is free roam, so you can just activate missions wherever you want. Uh, you just gotta find the green beacons and. Just continue missions right here. This is the grenade. Can't really see much action with that, but it's I have a pulsating grenade which keeps exploding after you explode it, and it normally explodes on uh, contact. And then uh, with the Titan, you have a jetpack. So right here, I'm using the jetpack just to get to higher distances, which is a really great way of getting around and good for navigation. Exploring through. Uh, everything's oh very very open. You can travel through almost every single building that there is. And this is a good example of that. Right here, I'm using the recon drone, or if, for example, it's called the ghost. The ghost is used for navigation around, also telling you where to go, and where you can summon your vehicle, and also go to orbit, which will send you far out into the distance. Right here, just great headshot. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but right here, this is just an example of some sniper kills. Um, I thought I got this guy right here, but I did not, because of something blocking. But it's okay, because... I got myself a grenade. Later on, you can actually upgrade your grenades, grenades um, in the future. If you get, um, when you get more experience, more of your perks actually upgrade themselves. So all you have to do is hit X or A using Xbox, and pretty much upgrade your perks. But this is a PS4 exclusive right now. Um, I was fortunate enough to get the alpha test. That's how I'm actually testing this. Right there is one of the examples of one of the uh, different type of enemies that turn invisible, but they are still able, they're very much so able to see. I can spot them out pretty fast because they have electronic current. Uh, a lot of the times with this game, if you see on the top right, there says it says plus 82, which was actually XP. Now I am the highest level, level 8 for the alpha test, which means I'm not going to, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get any experience. But, I'm going to be able to get this thing called Glimmer. Glimmer is the currency in this game. That's what those blue little square-like materials are on the right. Glimmer is used for buying 
pretty much everything when it comes to upgrading your vehicle, upgrading your ship, upgrading your um, your armor, just getting new armor, getting new weapons, pretty much everything. Banners you can wear on your body, emblems you can uh, put on yourself, kind of like to show other people like, hey, I've got this emblem, what do you have? Like, so a lot of the emblems you have to work for. Okay, so supercharged is practically meaning that I am supercharged and I can use my special attack, which I will be here using here soon. That's one of the different en enemies. Uh, it uses a, uh, it's called the void. It's a void type effect. And the void is something you can actually get applied to your weapons, which later on, of course, it'll probably be in beta, if not even the full game release. They'll uh, feature a certain method with where you can use the void. Here's a special attack right here. My special attack is jumping up in the air and slamming my fist down onto the ground, causing a almost like a effect just around me. Right there is an encrypted engram. With the encrypted engrams, you take these encrypted engrams to a certain person who will decode them and give you a new weapon that you have not even like thought it would be. So it kind of gives you a random weapon just depending on what kind of engram it is. So that engram I picked up was an uncommon engram, so it'll give me an uncommon weapon. You can also pick up armor engrams also, and you can buy them. You can buy practically anything in this game. Ammunition you cannot buy, you actually have to find that yourself. Right here is the special weapon, or the heavy weapon actually. The heavy weapon is used, you also have to equip it. This one I found a while ago. It's a very, very good heavy weapon. I recommend LMG over the RPG. The RPG is also one of the first heavy weapons in the game. And with this LMG, you're nearly unstoppable, practically. All it takes is a couple shots and they're down. It's really good for boss battles, uh, because you can really take down a lot of health. And it also depends on what kind of heavy weapon you have. Currently, that's actually not the best heavy weapon there is. There are several other and a lot of other you have to discover yourself. Just following what the ghost says, where I have to go. Okay. Trying to be stealthy, then I figured out that this is the hive. The hive are very fast moving creatures that have a low damage attack, but then if they're close to you, they can do a lot of damage. So, at longer range, you can take them out. They have a lower health, but in close range combat, they can hit you, and it could also cause a lot of damage towards your armor and your also your regular health. So right here, I'll be doing the transmit, transmitting or scanning the environment with the ghost. The ghost is used for that a lot. It's also used for unlocking certain doors you can't get in, at all. If, especially move. during a mission. So, for example, it says mission complete. This is good, because now I'm completed. Now I can do whatever I want after this. What it will tell me to do is you can find more missions, but I'm just going to take out more people. Those robots floating in the air, they're very easy to take out, but problem is they're always around other enemies that are much much harder to beat like the witch right there I just took out the witch very fast because kind of a uh, overpowered uh, the witch and the witch is a flying like creature that will throw everything at you practically and also has a shield almost all the time and the witch is very hard to beat at the first uh, first time you face um, it right now I'm going to the orbit and once I get there, I'll be able to show you just a couple more weapons, and also I'll head over to the tower, which is where I'll show you some of the really cool new features into Destiny's Alpha. So for example, this is the ship. You can uh, upgrade the ship or do any type of changing on the color, anything of that type. <laughs> Of course, it does cost a lot of money to do any sort of that uh, stuff, and especially with emblems. Emblems do cost a lot of money, but they're kind of worth it because you always have it, and you can use it later on, and there's no level cap. 
that's another problem is some things have level caps but the ship upgrades and stuff they do have level caps also but it just depends on like what level you already are so like level five would be a good level for I, I would say that's probably the level where you can upgrade your ship and then once you're level 20 or level 15 you can upgrade it a lot more and all it does is change your appearance and later on I believe in destiny you might be able to do ship battles I'm not completely certain on that don't take my word for it but I'm hoping you be able to because there are stats for the ship itself the one I'm in and for that little hovercraft you get on yes you can change the stats you can do barrel rolls you can just get all these new things and just put it on the little hovercraft and fly that thing around and just take things out and it's really good for navigation all right Here we go. this is the tower the tower plaza is the starting point where you start in right now I'm going over to the encryptor or the At your service, William. yes cryptech so now it gives me an option what is it gonna be and then right there's an uncommon light machine gun that I've gotten that is and right now I'm going to buy a couple more special weapons these are special encrypt encrypt grams or engrams I bought a few just to show off like what can you get and I did get a lot of uncommon things right there I got a new light machine gun I'm gonna go I'm gonna equip it because it is better And there's a better sniper rifle. So I always equip the new, newer and better things. These are all my new, like, uh, different weapons I've collected over the past. Different boots. Different chest plates, arm pieces, helmets, banners. And also your equipment, which is that down arrow. Which there's nothing much really in there. Actually, since I haven't unlocked anything because I'm not at the level. And this is the vault. The vault you can store weapons and armor and even just general objects. And once you do this, you can use it for your other characters. I just figured this out just recently. And it's very useful, especially if you're starting a new character. And you're like, oh, I want to bring that armor over to that other character. And you can do that. Once you do that, well, you have better armor. Alright everybody, thank you for watching Destiny Alpha Test. If you enjoyed this, please leave a little sub or even a like. If you want to, you can favorite. But thank you all for watching.